Welcome to this training on Unlock NLS Forms. In this video, we will cover the addendum for confirming broker compensation, sales transaction. As always, speak with your broker about your firm's policies and procedures. This form is exclusively available for use by Unlock NLS subscribers. This form is an addendum to the sales contract and is designed to provide transparency about who is paying all portions of the broker's compensation on both sides of a transaction. Given sellers can choose to offer contributions or concessions to a buyer's expenses or listing brokers may offer cooperative compensation off the NLS, it's important to document clearly who is paying what and give clear direction to title on the distribution of funds. This addendum can be used in all types of transactions. Unlock MLS has released a corresponding leasing version. It can be used with an initial offer, a counteroffer, a final offer, but is intended to accompany the final sales contract. Providing this to the title company can make the closing more efficient and clearer. Let's walk through the form. First, name the property. This simple step ensures that everyone is clear which property is being addressed and to which sales contract this addendum belongs. As the note says, this is designed to be an addendum that is separately signed from the contract. Let's read over this note. This addendum confirms who will pay each portion of the compensation to be paid to the brokers in the transaction contemplated in the contract to which it is attached. Seller, seller's broker, buyer, and buyer's broker should sign if paying or receiving compensation to confirm the amounts. Signing this addendum does not make the broker's parties to the attached contract. As you can see, this document summarizes the planned compensation and requires any party paying or receiving compensation to sign. This section highlights the variety of formats compensation agreed to in respective listing agreements and buyer's representation agreements can be paid. After the compensation breakdown, there are a couple of additional notes. It's important to note in which county the compensation will be paid. Including the county makes payment of the compensation agreed to enforceable under state law. While the county will often be the same as where the property is located, it doesn't have to be. As noted, the form provides transparency to all clients and their brokers while also instructing an escrow agent on the distribution of funds. It notes that, while the party's signature on this addendum also amends their representation agreements to reflect the terms of this addendum, buyer's brokers cannot receive more compensation than they separately agreed to receive in their buyer representation agreement. The buyer and seller sign the document. If both brokers are receiving compensation, they will sign as well. This form achieves the goal of full transparency about compensation. It also provides specific instructions to the title company about how to move forward. As a reminder, discuss the use of these forms or any others with your broker to ensure alignment with your firm's policies and procedures. For more information on this form or if you have any questions, please contact us at support at abor.com.